Alright, well, when you guys are ready... We're ready. We can we can jump in. Uh, almost on time this week. My oh, bad. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. No, no, I don't blame you at all. <laughs> he blames all the rest of us and the titties. Yeah, I, well... It does get a I little would, distracting, you know? I would never blame the boobs. <laughs> never blame the boobies for anything. It's not their fault that they're so perfect. <laughs> I mean, let's let's face it. They are the source of, uh, the, the cause of, and the solution to pretty much all of our problems. Right. Well, that and the uh, that and the area below. Uh, I, we have smiles from the goddess, so that is a true statement. So okay, last. So week... uh, has ev everyone. Has anyone taken the time to look at the scroll that uh, your halfling archaeologist friend has given you? Unfortunately not. I have. I'm trying to read some of it. I read all of it. Okay. So the next morning, uh, and you guys can consider that a, uh, a long rest if you need to. Uh, well, you wake got, up. Well, we got a couple of decks of cards. We're probably play some cards overnight. You you wake up and uh, your your halfling friend is uh, cooking breakfast over the campfire and uh, greets you as you arise. Good morning, friends. I hope you slept well. <sighs> Well enough, my friend, well enough. And it's a little bright, but... But I, I get around it. So, tell me, what would your plans be for the day? Huh? Uh, I guess the plan so far is to pack up camp and head out towards that uh that volcano that we mentioned with that keep on it ah uh, uh, yes pulling up the map right now what uh as you talk about the map you hear a strange writing sound Uh, towards the writing sound? The map. Uh, guys, the map has writing on it again. Alright, cool. Uh, Is that the Volos, the Poison Mountain? Here are the remains of the keep of the Kumari. Okay, okay, guys. I'm, I'm starting to have a little concern here. Uh, no one's concerned about map writing on itself except me you know what i'm saying concerned about it but i mean <laughs> <laughs> okay well i'm acting out of character while holding said map so i'm okay i'm having a little trouble reading though the uh, stuff about the ruins what does that say uh if i'm not mistaken volos the poison mountain here are the remains of the keep of the kamari Mari Candom? Candom, yeah. What's like, that, what's, what does it say over there about the ruins, though, at the base of the mountain? Ancient ruins of the lost city of Katusa. That's where we're at. Uh, well, no, we're we're not at Katusa. We're yeah, oh, we are. Yeah, 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 we are. That's where oh, we're yes. at. Oh yes, yes, absolutely. This is the ruins of the lost city of Katusa. Okay, so. Uh, I, 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 I vote we go west towards the mouth of that cave at the base of the mountain where uh, the base of the Volus, mountain of Volus. There's also living trees to the north of where the logging camp is in that vicinity. Living trees? Yeah, it's hard to see in the... Uh, right at the end where it says... Trees living? 
living, living trees, trees here. Here. Yes. <laughs> well, I consider trees alive already. Anyways. So, uh, what does what does everyone say? Should we go west towards the uh, towards the cave entrance? I say yeah. Alrighty. So, uh, who has the map? The cave. Who has the map? Well, Carpenter took it out, so I assume he does. Uh, I have the map. Can I hold the map for a minute? Yeah, do you feel that thing when it scribbles? I heard it. Yeah, you, uh, you can hear it. You, you hear a strange sound as if something is writing on parchment, but uh, you didn't feel anything. I, it, I didn't notice anything besides the noise. Hmm. Can, I, can I hold the map? For, I, I'll give it right back, I honestly. hand it over to I Francis. Wonder, Francis. And I, I wonder aloud, I wonder where on this map we could find Dragon's Blood. And the, uh, the halfling says, are, are you talking to me? Uh, no, no, no. Just talking out loud. Talk myself, more or less, or the map, whichever wants to answer. <laughs> so I give the map back to, uh... Actually, I think we probably should give the map to the ranger, but... <laughs> oh. But that's okay. <laughs> hey, ranger friend, uh, what's your, uh, survival checks? Or... Let me, uh, let me add them. Let me pull that up for you. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. Only. Between survival and nature, I think, would be the two biggest. Maybe insight. I don't know. GM, what is the best one on reading? Insight is uh, four. Well, what exactly is it that you're trying to do? I plot the best route to get to Sand Mountain. From with the map we have. Uh. Yeah, I would say uh, survival is probably the best one. I have a plus four to my survival. Do you have a better one? My survival looks like it's at a two. Huh. Well, Carqua, not you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Well, apparently Carqua has Carl's sense of direction, but. <laughs> yeah, so, uh. <laughs> Carqua says, yeah, I know which way to go, and. Immediately points directly south. Does anyone want to? Yeah. Uh, no, the, uh, the, halfling, the halfling tells you, "Look, the, it appears that your map is uh, relatively accurate from what I am familiar with. Uh, I have never been that far west to know exactly how to get to what you're looking for, but I do know, based on my research, that if you Head to the west, keep the mountains to your right, eventually you will see Mount Volos. You can't miss it because there is the the ruins of an ancient castle near the summit. And as I told you yesterday, many adventurers have uh, been said to have attempted to seek out legendary treasures that are hidden there, but none have ever returned. Hmm. Well, uh, good sir. Uh, we thank you for the information on the, uh, on dragons. Uh, <coughs> we will finish our breakfast and take our leave of you and shall head due west, as you say. We'll probably hug the base of the mountain want to draw him a map? 
drawing my map. <laughs> Nothing. All right. Let's let's go. I guess right. Thank you. Right. We'll see so you in a couple uh, days or so. We've had uh, we've had breakfast, I would say, and uh, we'll uh, mm -hmm. we'll head west. Okay. Yeah. So. Your plan then, if uh, I just want to confirm this, your plan is to head west and, and follow the uh, halfling's advice to keep the mountains to your right until you see the uh, till you see the castle on the mountain. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So as we're and with the of course the uh, whatever input the uh, our ranger has to anything that might uh, that might be ahead of us that he could uh, give us insight upon. Well, Can I use uh, that insight? It takes you... Uh, well, before you just before you take off a little admin uh, note here, um, by, by uh, everyone's uh, recollection and, and your personal timekeeping, uh, you have been away from Airlinth for 10 days at this point. This is the morning of the 10th day uh, when you leave the ruins of of Katusa. Okay. Um, just to give you some reference on the amount of time you've been traveling. Uh, the, the ranger is very helpful by helping you to avoid uh, some bogs, uh, figuring out ways to get uh, through rough terrain, things of that nature. Your druid is a great help also, keeping you guys supplied uh, with provisions that you collect along the way, and uh, it takes you three more days before you finally uh, find yourself at the base of a mountain that uh, and if uh, all you see is darkness go scroll to the very bottom <clears throat> uh, you find yourself at the bottom of a mountain which uh, you're relatively sure is what you're looking for because uh, near the summit you can make out uh, what appears to be the ruins of a an ancient fortress. Okay. Uh, hey guys, as uh, I was reading last night on the third page, the bottom paragraph, it talks about the female laying her eggs and then cutting her own breast open to cover the brood with her vital essence. That might be the way we could get the dragon's blood. Hmm. Entirely possible. So, uh... Sneak up while she cuts her chest open and tries to get some of the blood? Yeah, or just scoop it off the eggs. I don't know, you know. We only need two jills. Not very much. So let's uh, let's wander up here to this little opening and see what we see here. All right. So what you are looking at, uh, you you see that the area has um, it is crossed with various trails and paths which may have been made by humans or humanoids or some kind of animal, you know, maybe goats or something like that. Uh, search for tracks? You see any fresh tracks there, Ranger? Or Tarquin? You uh, you do see 
some tracks. Uh, you see three sets of tracks that you can, uh, or, or three types of tracks that you can make out, you can distinguish. Uh, there are some mountain goats. Uh, mm -hmm. There are uh, some, what you, assume, what you assume to be uh, human footprints because they, uh, they are boots. They appear to be uh, human human boot prints, and uh, some very large uh, humanoid footprints, which you can't really make out because they're covered by all the other footprints. Uh, but the most recent ones, as far as you can tell, were uh, weeks, to maybe even months old. So nothing is that, is that, very recent. Is everything bipedal? Well, except for what appears to be the goats. Okay. Well, there's a, a large humanoid footprints, regular humanoid footprints, and goat footprints. And all the the normal-sized human and the goats is the most recent, but they are... But even this, these are old footprints. Do I see them going in and out or just inward and not leaving? Uh, it appears that everything is is heading up up the mountain. Up the mountain. The goats. The goats are going everywhere. Well, oh, yeah, they're goats. Do we uh, do we see the opening to the uh, do we see the opening to the cave that was on the hermit's map? Not so, from where you stand. So Sounds okay, like we might have to go up to that other intersection. This area. Well, I see. Let's not let the wizard kill himself. Do we want to go this way? Let's let's take a look down both paths and see what we see here. So we can go so we can go this way. This way or this way. Let's go maybe go another twenty feet or fifty you know, work our way this way and then this this half work that way, and then we're still close enough to help each other. And decide from there. Okay, sure. well. I guess me, the me, the wizard, and the Fuego will go over this way and see what we see. All right, well. Hold up, Carquin. Yep. Looks like it's going to skirt around, so we're just going to have to pick a direction and go. Now, there is this right here. It yeah, looks like we got a way, uh, another way up over here. Let's uh, let's go right here and see what's right here. Cause I see. Yeah. Direct path sounds bad. Lighting. It's a setup, and all paths are the wrong way. I mean, this one's this side seems to open up quite a bit. As a... Uh. Yeah, this one does too. I'll go up to, to here. Take a look. You want to keep going? I'll follow you. I'll step right up here and see what I see. Bye. Go on top of this ledge here. I feel like it's just past the past the past. So every time you hear the dirt skittle down where it just blows off or whatever, it sounds like a creeper in Minecraft. And oh, I, get I, can see it. <laughs> I get just a little bit of anxiety. <laughs> All right, so we, obviously Carcron and I can see each other now. So um, where, do, where do we want to go? Do we want to take this? It uh, looks like the path continues up, up this way. Same here. Or we got the path that continues up this way, so we want to go to the left or the right? It seems like it keeps coming back together. I say we keep doing what we're doing, just a little this way and a little that way. Okay. okay. Well, we'll uh, skirt up this way and see what we see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure our GM is kind of going like, oh my gosh, why do they do this to me? 
<laughs> oh, no, no, not this time. No, you're expecting it now. <laughs> Don't you giggle as my little girl. Oh, yeah. Hi, little one. Say hi. She's waving. Hi. Just, uh, <laughs> Say hi. Just highlight the uh, direction that you want to go so I know what to, what to reveal. Uh, me, the wizard, and the fuego are over here, so... Uh, Harkwin, well, the, the uh, ranger... The, the guys that are down here mm -hmm. uh, cannot see the guys that are up here. Okay. Well, that's why I was trying to find this path that looks like it goes right here, or is this not a path? That is not a path. Oh. Uh, let me uh, let me reveal some more of that. I can see it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. It looks like it was a path. I mean... <laughs> yeah. I know it's just a sucky. All right, cool. I say we go join back up. I, I agree. We're about to get too far apart to immediately go like, no, don't die. Damn it, Gimbo, get off me, you little bastard. <laughs> like, quit puffing my leg. <laughs> my daughter just hits the arrow keys. She likes to see it move. Oh, really? Does that work? Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, sweet. Where's the, where's the fuego? Look, the child yeah, knows more. He's with you, right. uh, but I'll, I'll I'll bring him up if you guys uh, need him for combat or if you want to put him somewhere specifically. Uh, what else are we seeing up here? Is this just in the little alcove or is there a path over here? There we go. Yeah, let's go left a bit this way and just okay. clear getting the sense this might be a bit of a maze. Yeah, I think he's getting back at me from the mazes I took you through and was beaten. I'm just kidding. So you want to continue upward? I kind of want to see if this connects down to here. <laughs> I'll stand here if you want to, you know, check that little opening right there. Yeah, I'll check this little opening. You're really more looking for a cave before I way up. But checking right there, Cockwin. Don't get too far away there, big boy. <laughs> I, I say we continue upward. All right. Uh, do we want to head to the right a little bit? See if we can. Let you peek over there real quick and see what you see. Okay. Do I see like a trail going up or is that just more rock? Uh, from where you're at, you can't tell. I'll go to here. We'll hold right here in case something tries to come up behind us. Okay, so there is a path right here that looks like maybe a single person. Yeah, it's a narrow path. I say we keep it wide. I'll look up it. As long as we can. <laughs> what would y'all do if a dragon just came and ate Carl? <laughs> That's I feel sorry for the point. dragon because I'm going to turn it into a bear in its mouth. <laughs> so you'd be a bigger butt morsel. Nice. <laughs> Uh, what well, do you say? You, you guys want to go where? Oh, try to breathe. Want to go where Carquin's at, or do you want to keep going the the direction where I'm holding this holding this opening? What I, I want to know what's either left over here, and I want to know what's right over here. Okay, well, let's keep going this way and see what we see. I'm with you. Uh, if I was level eight, I'd be like, here, real quick, I'll scout the mountain. <laughs> Uh, Where'd that ranger go? I have to use that path. Uh. Does this lead you anywhere, or does this just kind of cliff face here? Uh, to the 
to the far left is uh, is another cliff, which is inaccessible. So we can't go up here. No, you can't go further but left than that. You can go up and to the right, but you can't go further to the left. Okay. Hey, y'all, there's a slightly wider path going up over here. Okay, so what I need everybody to do is uh, make a wisdom roll. Wisdom roll or wisdom save? It's wisdom save. Okay. Hey, Grinkle, how wise do you feel? <laughs> I don't feel very wise at all. <laughs> Uh, you and Michael both. <laughs> okay. So you, uh, as you, well, hold on. Let me bring uh, Fuego up here. I'm gonna stick in the center. If you guys are okay with that. Oh, what was that? You moved a chair. Did someone fart. Wasn't me. <laughs> Not it. I heard it do. I was wondering what that was. Well, hey, suddenly, uh, everyone hears the most beautiful music, the most beautiful singing you have ever heard in your life. Oh no! <laughs> and Carquin. And a fuego, just stop. And they just seem to be entranced by the music. Let's go ahead and roll for initiative. You, you said Carquin and a fuego? You meant Grangle and a fuego. Okay. Uh, well, no, I'm looking. I'm looking at the numbers, and the only ones who did not meet the minimum numbers were. Rangle and a fuego. Of course, our fighters are fucked. <laughs> All right, I'm back. So you, you guys noticed that uh, your two compatriots, uh, a fuego and uh, Grangle, are just enthralled by this uh, this beautiful singing. Um, and as you look around to see what. Why am I talking to myself? Uh, as you look around to see where it's coming from, uh, suddenly, winged creature, half woman and half vulture, comes swooping out of the sky towards you, uh, and you see these. Uh, you see these two, to you to the to the right or to the east um, come over the cliff side from uh, above up up the mountain uh, and they are now in sight so it is Lemmy's Lemmy will go first Hunter's okay. Mark uh, you choose a creature you can see within range and mystically mark it as your quarry. Until the spell ends, you deal an extra 1d6 damage to the target whenever you hit it with a weapon attack, and you have an advantage on any wisdom or wisdom check you make to find it. If the target drops to zero hit points before the spell ends, you can use a bonus action subsequent turn of yours to mark a new creature. Okay, okay. so... so what I yes. would want to do is use do this first. Okay. I will do that first. Okay, so basically, if you are using uh, the Hunter's Mark, uh, it's not like a, an attack, or, you know, it's not uh, like a melee or a ranged attack. It's an effect. So you pick one of them. Tell me which one you want to... Uh, one one close. You're going to mark... And then that one is going to get the extra damage every time you hit. <clears throat> okay. Then I can go to longbow for my action. 
Right. And attack that one. Which, which one are you? Which one are you going for? The closest one. So this one right here, on Makes the left. Damage not on. Whoops. Okay. The one on the left. Yeah. Oh, I know why. <clears throat> okay. Um, real quick, hover over your sh your longbow. Go all of the way okay. to the cog wheel. Click it. Okay. And go down. It says attacks. Got a blue check mark. Go down where it says damage and put a check mark. And then do that on okay. all your weapons. Do that on all your weapons. It'll automatically roll the damage at the same time. Oh, it is automatically. It's already checked though. It says damage one d eight plus dexterity. And it was checked and it didn't roll. Huh. Should I try it again? see what it does but okay oh, but for whatever reason yours is only showing the attack uh, uh. Well, you gotta roll your damage separate that's that's the only way around it I'll, I'll help you okay that's supposed to be 1d8 I can just roll that, right? Yep. Okay. Add your dex. And add your dexterity. You could do it manually or whatever. Five plus dexterity. Is it the uh, one on the side here? Three. Okay. So five plus three, eight. And then, and then you roll an extra d6. And then roll an extra d6. Nice! Oh, so 14. Nice, nice. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so the arrow plunges straight into the neck of this creature, and it screams in pain, blood squirting out. It's clawing at it, so at the arrow, which is stuck there, and it just spins it around as it as it was hovering in the air. And uh, it, it's been seriously uh, damaged. You, you can just tell. It, it just, it's really hurting. And this infuriates the other one. And, uh, Grangle in career. and Grangle is just entranced, looking lovingly up at this uh, hideous beast. Just uh, a recommendation. As, oh, shit. <laughs> as does a fuego. And uh, we're down to Francis. Okay. Uh, from here, I'm assuming I can't see anything. Down here. Uh, yeah, if you go one more hex, you will be entirely out of view. Okay. I am going to use my cunning action to dash. Um, uh, in this direction. I think that's right. Is that where it was? <clears throat> yeah. And, um, can I, okay, I dashed. Can I move now? Oops. Or is dash, dash is move, right? I just, I don't have a penalty. I could attack. I don't know. Um. Or can I dash and then move some more? And you can say no. That cunning action is what you said it was? Yeah, let me uh, pop that up for you real quick. 
No, I'm looking at it right now. Okay. It lets me do the dash as a bonus action. Yeah, so... <clears throat> Let's Sorry, just let, let's just start with you doing your normal movement, and then add your your dash to the end of that. Okay. Uh, Since it's a bonus action, it would be something you would do in addition to your movement. I'm gonna move to here, and then. And then that'll also give you the option to stop short if you so desire not to be exposed out here am i exposed would i uh, does it seem like i'd be exposed um, if you if you get to here mm -hmm. to this hex right here that's where uh there's a likelihood that they will be able to see you and i'm assuming this uh escarpment's a little lower is what you're telling me right in here <clears throat> Can I climb that quickly, scamper up on it? So if I come down, let's say I come down to. Yeah. So what? Yeah. What I'm saying is, if 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 you go, if you go to here, then it's low enough where they'll be able to see you. So uh, it's it's low enough for you to basically just leap over. It's maybe three, at the most, four feet tall. Okay. But if I stop like right there, I can. Move five but if, yeah, feet, but if you stop, over. if you stop up to, oh yeah, if you if you stop here, uh, now you're looking at you know like eight to ten feet, and you'll have to actually make a dexterity check because you got to climb that. Okay. Can I shoot a bow from here and hit him? If I stood at disadvantage. Okay. Okay. Because it would be almost like indirect fire. You, you can't really see gotcha. what's going on over there. You can hear them, and you have a general idea of where they are, but as far yeah, as accuracy... I about an arrow in throat, but... <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to maneuver. I didn't expect to be able to attack. So, um, yeah, let's do that. Let's just move. Yeah, so, like, if you, st if you stopped here, you could, you could crouch behind or even... You know, like right here, you could crouch behind the the low cliff and then pop up and shoot if you wanted to do that. Um, so that's at the limit of your but it'd be a disadvantage. Uh, movement. What's that? It'd be at disadvantage. No. Okay. No, because mm -hmm. it, it, once you once you uh, once you pop up to, to engage. And I'll go ahead and clear this now anyway. Um, no, because once you pop up, you're going to be able to see them. Right. But as of right now, I'm assuming you want to stay hidden so you're crouched down. Okay. Um. Surprise is a critical hit. All right, I'm going to, I'm actually going to attack from here, and I'm going to use assassinate on the one closest to me. Okay, so you're going after this one. Yes. I don't even know what that is. Is it an 8? 13? Uh, it's a 13. So is that a total of 12? Uh... Yes, 12. No problem. Okay, so are you done? I'm done, yes. I'm out of things to do. All right, so now we move to Gimbal. <clears throat> All right, I'm just going to cast uh, Mage Armor, which will okay. help my... And that's, that's all you're going to do? Yeah, hope my armor class is all... Yeah, I'm, that's it. I'm going to stay where I'm at. Okay, what does that increase your... Armor Armor class. Six, so it takes it to a 14. Okay. And then uh, I'll also get 10 temporary hit points because of the uh, type of mage I am. Okay. Ab abjuration mage. And that will be the end of my turn. All right. And we are at Carquin. 
Question. Do I see uh, spiders or other insects lying around? Uh, no, not really. And they're still are flying? They spiders or anything? The, uh, What's that? The harpies are spiders, still flying. scorpions, or uh, centipedes nearby? No. Oh, fuck. I'm just going to have to carry them in a jar from now on, I guess. Okay. Uh, can I shoot at this one with a bow? Sure can. Or, hold on, let me take a measurement real quick. Ha! Ah, just in range. Want me to bring this one closer? If you bring it closer, you have to fight it, because your fighters are currently uh, mesmerized. Oh, they eat. Yeah. I'll shoot it with a bow. Not my best uh, weapon of choice, but it works. She has been hit pretty hard. Yeah. Sorry, I clicked it multiple times. Just count the first one. Yeah. Cool. I look really good. Will a 16 hit? Yeah, so you hit that one uh, in one of the legs. I mean, this thing is really messed up. And, uh, I mean, really, it only got hit with two arrows, but they were devastating. Uh, and the thing is, the thing is really in pain. Blood. Coming out everywhere. It sounded like All she right. giggled there for a minute. <laughs> My daughter is in here with me. Does that end your turn? Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's not the only thing I could do is maybe turn into a giant spider and climb over, but. <laughs> So, uh, so this one right here flies away. Come back here, you cowardly witch. This one yeah, of course. <laughs> I got too too clever for my britches. She can't quite get to me. Oh. Oh no, it can. <laughs> oh no, it can. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna let me just double check that. It could actually make it all the way out to here. Oh, all that's right. right. They're flying. Oh, I. That's right. That's right. I took that chance. All right, so it hits you with both its claws, and a total of 12. Damn. And, uh... Mistakes have been made. <laughs> if you uh, look behind you, oh, shit. the third one shows up, and, uh... Who is that right there? Is that Carquin? Yep. You were looking at? Yes, you're the nearest one. Oh. All right, and it hits you. It has a club, and it hits you with a club. For three points. Okay. And then we're back to Lemmy. Do we, uh, do, do me and uh, if we go get to make any other wisdom saving throws on each turn? Oh, 
Let me just double check that. Uh, yeah, so you will be able to do uh, another wisdom save when it is your turn again. Okay. And with, that'll be the, your, it'll be right after Lemmy's turn. Okay. Okay. And uh, in the meantime, uh, you and Afuego were moving towards where the other one flew off. Just a slow shamble, you know, nothing too drastic. Uh, but yeah, so now we're down. We're we're back to Lemmy. Lemmy Adam. Oh, wait a minute. Is this the third one? Yes. You didn't yeah. hear that? <laughs> yeah, one flew down. Yes, that is a third totally unscathed creature. But wait, there's more. <laughs> you just had to get in my circle. <laughs> so if this is like a hive, you can matter tell. Okay, can I use an action and then move? Yeah. Yeah, gen generally speaking, yes. Uh, I don't think there's anything that you can do that you're going to do that uh, would negate that. Okay. I think I'm going to do Fog Cloud. Centering on the point within range. Range 120 feet. And try to um, throw that on the one that's right next to us. Okay, hold, hold on a second. If you, um, what I don't know what's uh, what's Carquin's armor class in comparison to Francis's? Uh, mine's higher. Okay, all right. My, not, not by much, but my but I got is, four but you're also, not you're the also more injured at this point. <laughs> yeah, he's more injured and. I have three sets of hit points to go through, so <laughs> you might want to you might want to cast the fog cloud on the one that's attacking Francis. Oh, okay, that's a good idea because then he can stealth out. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Is that within range here? Yeah. So how I do you use I the also, roller? Seventy feet. Ah, oh, cool. I also want okay. you to be aware that uh, that will also cause you to stop concentration on the hunter's mark. Oh. That one's already so, okay. sobered off. So, if you want to go after, if you if you did want to go after that one that flew away, uh, you would not have the the additional damage. Oh, that's true. So maybe maybe you want to uh, see because you can move thirty feet. You still have your bow out. You yeah, I could go just help him. Yeah, you can move thirty feet and then uh, and then launch at uh, launch at this other one. Okay. Or if you've got if you've got more of a dash or something like that where you can close the distance more, that would be... No, I do not. Okay. Okay. So if you want to you right. close the distance 30 feet, put you, put you closer to the uh, other harpy and then take your hunter's mark to her. Okay. So then I'll shoot the bow at the one that's near Francis if I can see her clearly. Sure can. All right, let's see if it works. Oh, that'll work. Now you roll damage. It'll do, donkey. That'll do. <laughs> I just got to use the the damage. Yeah, we got to figure out why do my this own. ain't working. A four and then an additional D6. No, a three. No, it's just uh, my dexterity, so plus three. Oh, so, so seven. seven. And then a D an additional D6. No, no, that was on the other one. No, the hunter's mark gives him an additional D6. That yeah, but only on the one that he marked. He didn't mark this one. And, he, and it has to die before you can mark it. Um, um, but he'll be able to track that one with advantage now. 
He is okay. attacking. You are attacking I, it from behind, so you should get another bonus as well. I think he just gets advantage, right? Which means he could roll again and possibly get a net twenty, though. Oh, that's okay. I mean, he's no. Nope, and this is this is all you're gonna get. He's hit it. He's hit it for seven seven damage. So <laughs> okay. So now it's back to me, and I got to roll for a uh, wisdom check. Yes. So you do a wisdom save. So that's just clicking my wisdom uh, thing on my. No, no, you're my... Um, to the right. No, to the right of that is your your saves oh, under proficiency bonus. Yes. Those are your saves. Oh yeah. There that's it. There we go. Okay, so somehow you're able to snap out of it, and uh, the song no longer holds its effect on you. Okay. Is that all I get on that turn, or? Uh, no, no. Uh, it, it doesn't take you but a second to come to your senses, and you are fully capable of making another. Uh, another action, attack, whatever it is you want to do. So I'm going to move 30 feet, and as I'm doing so, I'm drawing my short bow to launch it a uh, little queenie right down here. Oh, oh no. wow. So apparently the effects of her, of her I've, although I've shaken it off, I'm not completely recovered yet because that... Uh, that arrow goes wildly over her head. <laughs> Might have overpulled it too. So what'd you get for trying to shoot on the move? Oh well, you know, hey. Can you ever claim to be Robin Hood? <laughs> Alright, so right. Fuego needs to roll a wisdom check here. All right. So that is does that end your turn? Uh let me see if I have a bonus action I could use here. So yes, that will be my turn. I'm done. All right. <clears throat> so <laughs> Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> the Fuego was <is> still uh <laughs> Oh, God. At least you're rolling consistently like he does. <laughs> <laughs> well, Afuego is now really fallen. He's, uh, he's, Afuego is smitten. All right. <laughs> Back to Francis. All right. Can I disengage past her? That's kind of a sure glyph right there. Well, she's um, over, over me, or she's, stand, she's standing above me, isn't she? Okay. If you... If you do a dexterity check, you should be able to get underneath her if you want to go this way. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, it was it's clear sailing if you go back the way you came. If I go back the way I came, they can yeah. If you shoot if you go back the way you came, by. or these guys can shoot her as she goes by because she's <clears throat> below them, or if she's flying, she's parallel with them. Perhaps. Uh, I'm gonna go for the. Duck under dexterity move. Is that a straight dexterity or a acrobatics? Yeah. Yeah, whatever's going to give you the be the best bonus. Ooh. Pretty close. Twenty. <laughs> say ooh. You don't have any bonuses on your dexterity? Yeah, that was with it. That was with the Oh, bonuses. that is it. Uh, okay, yeah. I was looking at the wrong number. <laughs> right. Oh, okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so uh, 
you're able to do a little combat roll underneath her, whatever it is you do, and uh, you know you you can you make it past her unscathed. So, you know, if you want to move your full distance or whatever it was that you want to do, you know, you you evaded her quite successfully. Okay. Can you parry? No matter how I do it, I get in the way of somebody else. Well, keep in mind, we can move, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I am going to get right you. And as far as uh, as far as missile attacks, you're not going to be in anybody's way. Okay. Because she's she's up in the air, so you know if you if you just hunch over, they can right. shoot over you. Okay, so I evaded her, and I, I can I attack? Spin and shoot my bow. Sure. Nope, I can't. <laughs> so, you know, you try to spin and shoot, and your arrow goes to the same place that uh, Grangle's arrow went. Did I split it? <laughs> it's lost in the rocks. All right. <laughs> it was already split beforehand. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> and that's, that's my turn. All right, back to Gimbal. All right, well, I'll leave Carquin alone. And then I am going to cast Firebolt on the one that's in front of Carquin. Thank you. <laughs> but I will miss. Uh. That's a shame. Uh, that will be the end of my turn. All right, back to Carquin. I'm going to uh, turn. I want to say spider trumps bird, and as I turn into a large spider. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What kind of spider? It's a giant un spider that you find in the hundred. So a big creepy looking hairy spider. Yeah. Okay, so what what were you trying to do? I'm trying to bite it. Okay, so uh you get your uh, creepy little fangs into uh, one of its legs. Cool. That'll be a... D plus... Three, and then two D8. Make something happen, Carl. Let's go... All right, now I need it to fail me a fort save. Save for what? Constitution save. Poisoned it? Huh? I'm trying to find out. Does that work every time you bite them? They got to roll the for to see if they're poisoned? Yep. That's pretty cool. All right, it's either four damage on a, on a pass or a or nine damage on on a fail. And then it would be poisoned. Okay. So no problem. It took some damage. I'm going to leave it at that. Can I tell if it's poisoned? Uh, you want. You can tell that it, it uh, is 
as you bit it, uh, you did inject some of your venom into it, but uh, what effect it's going to have, you are not totally sure yet. Okay. Fair enough. All right. So the creature uh, to the right uh, flies away. And uh, the creature to the left. <laughs> oh my god. All right, my EC is better than what it was. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. This thing is absolutely horrible. And uh, it was such a bad roll that I am going to actually cause some damage to itself because it's so stupid. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> wow. So maybe that was the effect of the, the venom. Who knows? <laughs> well, I hope she learned her lesson and will roll better in the future. Uh. In addition, uh, it also the, the the song stops and the uh, the effect on El Fuego immediately ceases, and we're back to Lemmy. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Five plus three, so eight. Mama. Yeah, that's mama. No, no. That's a harpy baby. That's not mama. <laughs> All right. Uh, and just like the other one, uh, you, the arrow goes right into one of its uh, drumsticks, I guess, that upper part of the, <laughs> the leg. Ooh, we're having fried harpy later. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's still it's still flying, but uh, you know it's it's hurt. Cool. Okay. We move to Grangle. Okay, I'm gonna move up next to uh, Lemmy and try my short bow again. There we go. Of yeah, you lost another arrow. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah. You came close, Perfect. but uh, you missed. It's too bad because uh, I moved 20 feet. Can I move an additional 10? Yeah. All right. That'll do my. That'll be my turn. All right. So and now Fuego, Fuego gets to engage. He's gonna squeeze in right there. Take the nether. And bring the pain. Oh nope. shit! <laughs> oh come on! Ah, <laughs> oh. keeping with tradition. Yeah, with. <laughs> All right, back to Francis. All right, swiggity swooty, I'm coming. There you go. Swiggity swooty, huh? <laughs> oh, there she is. Yes. Tough one right there. Yeah, so uh, you hit eight piercing right in one of the boobies. Boobies. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, they're just you hanging loose, huh? Nipple. <laughs> hey, penetrated her pepperoni with eight piercing. <laughs> so yeah, you uh, you gave her a piercing. That she didn't necessarily want. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily. Hey, Gimbal, bring the pain. 
Moving on to Google. Let's see. I'm going to do Fireball again. What's the damage on a Firebolt? Uh, 1d10. All right. So, yeah, you hit it, I mean, dead center mass. Let's go. Hold on. <laughs> Burnt feathers falling off of it. It, it is seriously uh, disoriented. And I assume that's uh, the end? Yeah, I'm going I'm to end it right here. All right. And we're back to Carquin. Uh, oh, hang on, hang on. I got to do one more thing. Okay, back to Carquin. Cool. Is it? You got to be careful. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that you hit this thing. So let's see, the difference in bite and web is the same, just in range. Were you trying to web it or were you trying to bite it? I was trying to kill it. I was going to say, if you webbed it up, uh, it would probably keep it from attacking again and then we could uh, proceed to... That, yeah, they seem to retreat. So what did you what did you do? I bit I bit it. Okay, and it crumbles to the ground, a quivering heap. It is uh, it's dead. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, Daddy, Daddy could use a bump. <laughs> I'm hurt. All right, I'll uh, I'll lay hands on you. You see, you lost twelve points, right? Uh, yeah, I sure did. Let me check my uh, capabilities here. Real quick. All right, so I'm gonna lay hands on uh, uh, Francis and bring him up by uh, bring him up ten hit points. Made the adjustment. Not quite top him off, but uh, get him back to good working order. Fair enough. Reduce the number of arrows I threw away. But I, I currently I only I, only, I lost two, so. <laughs> I had two out of three hits. That's what I. Mean. Yeah, that's you. I mean, you could always go pull your arrows out of the harpy's body. <laughs> uh, can I suggest? Only. That, uh, I mean, Only uh, one arrow. One that got away. Yeah. Can I do a perception or? A... You had Hunter's oh. mark on the one that got away. One of the ones that got away. So yeah, I can roll. Survival checks. Roll advantage for perception or survival. Which you Melissa just feet logged feet. me out of. You're still. You can still track it. Oh. You healed up now? <laughs> well, the uh, the hunter's mark isn't going to give you any bonuses for tracking it. Uh, it. It allowed you to locate the exact target while you're in combat. Um, but not necessarily like to track it down. What about a so trail it, of blood? <laughs> it's uh, it's gone for now. All you have is the the dead one laying there at your feet, you know. And a close a close examination, you can see that uh, aside from the damage that it took in in combat, you know, the female portions of the body are actually not that bad. <laughs> Don't you tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> Necrophilia, anyone? <laughs> it's gonna be a hard pass. <laughs> Does the uh, harpy have anything of value on it? 
It's actually wearing a silver bracelet and a thin gold chain. We'll, we'll right. strip that off of it for sure. Does Francis know about how much they're worth? Other than that, there's nothing else. <clears throat> Does Francis have any idea how much they're worth? I guess you guys can't hear me. All right. you heard you. I heard you. Oh, okay. Nobody said just, anything, so. <laughs> you know, do you, <laughs> I don't have an answer for you. <laughs> do you have a, do you have an, a, an ability roll for that? I don't think so. Well, I don't know. Um, I think insight would probably. Insight or intelligence, right? Or yeah, one of those. Maybe. So if your dimension is high enough, you can say whatever it's worth. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's not like I'm trying to see if it's magic or something. I say we go down that trail right here. Yeah, we okay. will. In a second. So we've uh, we've taken the, the gold the, chain and the, 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 and the silver, silver bracelet or whatever it was. And I guess Carcon's still a big spider. Uh, I'm, I have an hour that I can stay. Otherwise, I'll have to take a short rest to get... Get one more chance. Why, don't, why don't you lead the pack then, Carl? Hmm? Why don't you lead the pack then? Okay. Did you no. guys want me to do that check? Just forward. Well, there's, there's nothing you can check for, is there? He well, can I can track it. For, it. He could check it for magic, but I mean, that's... Oh, you mean you can track it? Chains. It's flying. I don't know how you would track it flying. I don't know how you would either. Well, it was, it was dripping blood, so... There you go. Yeah, do you want to do? Can you do a survival check for blood? Or any any marks? Well, the uh, <clears throat> the uh, the the cliffside uh, over here, where where it flew off, um, you don't notice any any blood uh, immediately. So I'm thinking this is going to take a turn here and go back that way. So maybe we can pick up a blood trail once we get higher up. Okay. Good idea. I'll go around this corner here. And uh, you immediately start to feel uh, very strange, very lightheaded. So uh, suddenly hard to breathe I back up in kind of motion backwards is it just as we get with gimbal get intelligence can he tell us just as it, uh, you're getting higher up in the altitude I don't think we've been up that high <laughs> no it's uh I mean you're you're quite a ways up uh, don't let the scale of the map fool you. You've uh, you've you've traveled quite a ways up, and uh, it's uh, it's more than just you know altitude. What what do we what is what do we see either side here? Is that all we can see? Uh, this is this is what you see. And is it just Carquin that's feeling it because he was up ahead? Well, he felt it. Uh, yeah, no, he, he felt it because he was in in the lead. Yeah, and that's when I started backing up <laughs> and grabbing the hit and kind of shooing backwards. And I'm, I'm also letting him feel it uh, because he's so much bigger and it would affect him. Uh, I think it would affect him first. Was it because, of the, spider, was it because he went spider kind form. of off to the right a little bit? Or is... What's that? I think it's going to be the further we move on, the harder it will be to breathe because the higher in altitude we're getting. I will turn back into human. And he's baiting you to do it, Carl. <laughs> I've also got to detect poison and disease. Well, do you have to be ready? Uh, I don't know. What? He may not know. Okay. 
I want to do knowledge nature to know why it was so hard to breathe, whether it was a uh, poison or uh, just altitude. Do I do an intelligence check on that? Well, he said it wasn't just altitude. It was, said it was something else. Yeah, right. so... Uh, Identify what poison it is, then. That's safe. So, uh, between the, the little conversation that Gimbal and uh, Karkwin have, uh, you come to the conclusion that um, there are probably poisonous gases that are coming out of vents from the volcano. Ah. <clears throat> Can we wear – you guys think uh, – this is Francis talking. Uh, you guys think we can wear some uh, masks or, like, take a little bit of cloth and cover our mouth? Would it help? With Gimbal being a genius, would he know – a good way to avoid the gas. Yeah, go ahead and uh, roll roll that again. Yes, sir. Yeah, so Gimbal's going to tell you that uh, wearing the cloth over your face isn't going to protect you from uh, the poison gases. Most definitely not. No, no, no. Okay. Kind of like COVID. The mask doesn't do anything. <laughs> I was to say, is this mask going to protect us as much as it did with COVID? <laughs> well, be that guy with the underwear on his face. I mean, <laughs> would identifying have we identified the poison? Would that help at all? I'm just saying the harpies were able to fly up there, so right. Oh, they have. Let me uh let me pull out the CDC handbook on this. Right, well, I tell I tell you what I'm gonna I'm gonna take some I'm gonna take a cloth and form a mask over my over my face and see if I can move up here and see if it's uh, if it helps any. So you're just gonna go there and uh, just hang out for a few minutes and breathe? Yeah, just see if I can uh, see if the uh, having the cloth over my face is uh helps any. Okay. So after a few minutes, uh, you also start to feel a little lightheaded and nauseated. I feel like can, I see, was... can I see any further than this right here? And to the other side. Hmm. I guess you can't really see it, but... Uh... Yeah, over here, mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm going to bring it out because uh, it, it didn't – the resolution didn't translate. Uh, but uh, you, you see a couple of skeletons uh, right over here. Okay. Oh, we see the fortress. Right, so I'm going to communicate that to everybody as I move back down here. <laughs> I see a fortress at the top. All right. I, I have a solution to this, but it would take us to take a long rest. Okay. What's your solution? I quite retake a long rest. I reset my spells, and I exchange one of my spells for a spell called uh, Gust of Wind. And it's a basically a ten foot, sixty foot line of wind that I can control for one minute. Okay, but what if? What if the rest of the cave is filled with this gas? Well, it's, gonna help it will disperse cave. all cave. It does disperse all uh, poisons, vapors, and extinguished candles, torches, and other unprotected flames in the area. Uh, yeah, there's a fortress up ahead, guys. Where? We don't. But yeah, but we don't. Do we see any way to to approach this fortress from where we're at? We, can we see the vents that are causing it? Would uh, so it would maybe give Kark an uh, ability to mold, mold uh, earth and maybe block the vents. That's a way. I didn't think of that. Um. Yeah. Well, you know, you're you're literally on a volcano, so there's lots of fissures and vents and chimneys and all sorts of things. Uh, there, there, there's too many. To, to discover. 
Uh, I'll be here all day just kept going, okay, close, 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 close. What if we just make a mad dash? Hold your breath and mad dash it? Yeah, maybe inside <laughs> the fortress. I think that's so what bad. someone, that's what one of those skeleton guys said. <laughs> yeah, how far does this get? How far does it look like the skeleton thing? It's not far. No, the fortress isn't far. It's about 70 feet straight ahead, 75 feet straight ahead of the steps. Well, that's not including going up, up these, whatever. I think the gust of wind's our best option. We just book it. Well, well, since the wind is blowing 60 miles per hour, you can just ride the wind. <laughs> One of so the things how, how, do how, 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 is to uh, purposely fail a save and be pushed 15 feet. If you do, if you do the wind how, if, and disperses these gases, how long will it help? does it take for everything to fill back in once the wind is gone? I don't know. I can only tell you what I... All right. I can also do warding Help. wind, which is a 10-minute, but it's a self... Francis is holding his breath and running to this point and standing to see what he sees. You know, Francis, I got a hawk I could send. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I'm going to send my hawk with him. I thought you had an owl. Owl, whatever it is. I'm gonna my All bird. Right, I go to this point. <laughs> All right, I need you to make a constitution save. Oof. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> All right. I thought it was going to land on the one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sure this is gonna hurt, anyways. Uh, four. Uh, I think you're. I think you're screwed in it either way, but you're not as screwed. Take uh, four points. Four points of damage. What do I see? Well, this is uh, this is what you see. You see uh, very barren and rocky terrain, and uh, your your head is swimming. Your eyesight's getting blurry. You need to run back, dude. All right, I'm gonna run back. And uh, after a few few minutes, uh, your uh, your head clears, and uh, you're back to normal. What about the uh, what about the uh, the owl? Can can it fly above this and maybe do a circle and see anything? Uh, is that what is that what you're having it do? Yeah, I'm gonna send my owl kind of just like. Hold on, let me do this. Okay, kinda, but uh, just kind of do that. It's just gonna do a straight dash. Can you see what the owl sees? Or can you oh, talk to your owl? I could talk. I could talk to all animals. Oh. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna send my owl. And I'm gonna tell it, you know, go see as much as you can see. But if you start getting dizzy, come right back. I think okay. maybe the owl could be up above some of the effects of the of the fumes. Yeah, what I know if if this type of gas rises or uh, volcanic gas rises or lowers. It's everywhere. Okay, so after a few minutes, uh, you know, ten fifteen minutes, the owl comes back and it uh, it speaks to you in the chat. Awesome. I tell them I tell the group that the owl says there might be a cave to the southeast. Southeast. Which way is north? To the top of the mountain. <laughs> You've been going the wrong way. <laughs> southeast. So does huh? cause is the so is he able is the owl able to communicate what he saw other than there might be a cave? I mean I'm going to ask him, did it look safe to proceed? Maybe we go this way? Dude, how have we not noticed that? Well, the terrain uh, makes it very difficult to see very far. I think I could have just go about this, this way. 
But it says there might be a cave to the southeast. Any of you brave fighters want to get up here in the front? Well, if you'll slow the hell down. <laughs> Yeah, you probably shouldn't be leading the pack. Just in case. No one's passed me yet. There we go. I'll be right back. Yeah, he did say southeast. You guys are going further up. Yeah, that's going up, isn't it? We're going eastwards, I guess. But the other, only other southeast is this way. Yeah. Or go huh? back to the bottom and go this way. Well, let's just see what we see this way. If we can get down right Down the mountain? Here. Well, you can't go that way. Well, can we look okay. down at all? Can we see it down the cliff? Yeah. It doesn't look like you can't see a cave from that way. Looking, you see what might be more trails. Hey, okay. Yeah, I see a cave. We were so close. <laughs> All right, roll for initiative. Of course. No oh, shit. Yeah, I. Only because you walked right up on the cave. The cave. Oh, okay. Sorry, did I miss anything? Who died? Nobody yet. <laughs> <laughs> yet. <laughs> yeah. All right. Man, things are coming together now. I love the way he says that. No, I, I'm just really happy because uh, I everything that I set up, you know. So like the the monster rolls his initiative. You guys can't see it, right? Right. Mm -hmm. that, so that means that I did something right. <laughs> well, we should be able to see the monster initiative. He says, "I'm getting ready to fuck your shit up." <laughs> Oh, no. I wouldn't do that. Lots of initiative we shit. should be able to see because, you know, whatever. But you can do it either way. Nope. This is the way I want to do it. This is the way You're I want to fuck you your shit life. up. <laughs> okay. So. You just walk right on up to the cave. Rock up and, to, yeah, to the cave entrance. I didn't walk in it, but okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. You walk right up to the cave. And uh, out of the cave a comes dragon. a large rock. Okay. Ouch. It's a fine rock. ROC. Gotcha. As in a uh, a boulder. Oh, right. R O C K. <laughs> uh, you know the the thing is uh, like four feet across. You know, probably weighs two three hundred pounds, and it catches uh, Grangle right in the shoulder for seven points. Seven. Seven. <clears throat> Your AC is eighteen, right? Yes. Yeah. Dang, son. You just got rocked. <laughs> and uh, out of the cave come on you steps a large ugly humanoid 
Oh my gosh. Could it be a rock giant? Stone giant. Stone giant? Oh, he's high as a kite. He's <laughs> got to be high as a kite to attack us. I mean, this is huge. And uh, that's the end of his turn. And it is now Lemmy's turn. Okay. Now I can talk to giants. You can try. Um. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's a DM code for go ahead, you're still getting attacked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems like he's already become hostile. Um, I mean, that I, I'm not trying to dissuade you from anything. I'm just trying to make sure you guys understand his frame of mind. <laughs> we did just try to probably walk into his home. <laughs> okay. Um, is it at all an action to talk to him? Um. I mean, what exactly do you want to do? Do you want to walk up there and try to talk to him, or you want to talk to him from where you're at? Or whoa, 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 big boy! <laughs> I think, uh, I think, I think I'll walk up to him and use my uh... oh, shit. <laughs> I can only intimidate him. <laughs> That's what my sure. I want to intimidate the giant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's six of us. <laughs> I'm going to walk up to the giant. <laughs> or at least get close. Okay. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, hey, giant, you uh, need to chill out, man, because there's six of us, and, and we're usually not, you know, oh. trying to kill everything we come across, but uh, if, if you could go ahead and chill the f out bro and uh stop throwing rocks and stuff we could we could maybe just talk about what's going on here instead of um trying to kill each other nobody wants to die right especially not you oh, wow okay <laughs> and i roll the intimidation <laughs> oh shit yeah go right ahead please do oh wait <laughs> we've got a We've got a mouthy ranger. Well, he's not intimidated. He does look a little confused. I swear, if he just picks you up and eats you. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else you want to do or try? Um, hmm. Why don't you just, rather than trying to intimidate, why don't you try to persuade and go, hey, listen, uh, can we talk before we fight anymore? Yeah, that might <laughs> yeah, have that's... to wait till later. Oh. <laughs> Damn. I mean, you, you, you already said what you said. <laughs> okay, so I can't, I can't talk anymore. <laughs> Talking um, over. Well, I think I think if you try to change your 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 tack and try to uh, befriend him after you just uh, try to intimidate him, uh, <laughs> it's going to make him even more confused and probably really upset. I, that's that's I think that's what you can infer from your knowledge of giants. Okay, so he's pissed off. Gotcha. And he's not too smart. And he's not too smart. Um, can I at all use Hunter's Mark again since I used it in the yes you can fight? okay then I will use that uh, cost one bonus action and now I've marked the giant. <laughs> And then I will fire my bow at his unresponsive ass. Oh, Jesus. Well, that, that's going to have to wait because you're 
you moved, you spoke, and then you did your mark. Oh, okay. That works. So what's a Fuego going to do? I don't know. Fuego seems to be itching to get into the fight. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> well, that's just perfect. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. All right. So if Fuego looks back at uh, Francis expectantly, as in, uh, you know, should I or shouldn't I? You put that on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> he takes that as I definitely should. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't back off right when he was intimidated. It's his fault. Yeah. I tried to be sort of nice. And he ain't even said nothing back. Yeah, he was doing uh, workouts with them. He's done it with like six different teams now. Uh oh. Nice. Not a good roll. Not a good damage roll, but. <laughs> I feel like that's getting stabbed. He hit, though. It feels like getting stabbed by a toothpick or something. Like you just piss him off. <laughs> yeah, so uh, he swings his great sword, and uh, why is it not on there? It's supposed to be on there. There. Yeah, uh, so he swings his great sword, and uh, the tip of it Just the tip. digs into his upper thigh, cuts him open, and uh, the giant yelps in pain. Now he's actually uh, angry. Perfect. <laughs> now he's really pissed. Carquin. No, no, don't do that. You'll just make him angry. Alright, Corkman goes, I'll be right here, and wow. Back, I say, back! <laughs> Christ. Oh, didn't you know Bumble's bounce? <laughs> And no, he does not move because Thorn Whip does not work on anything two sizes larger than me. So yeah, now he's scratched. <laughs> Jesus, you guys, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gimbal. How long does your mage armor last? Eight hours. Okay, so you... I would say you're probably uh, you, you probably got six hours left. Okay. Uh, this is probably a waste, but I'm gonna take one of those fireball things off my necklace and just throw it at him. Far out. Would it be a dexterity? Wait, no, it's a... Uh, he has to do a dexterity saving throw. And there'll be a 20-foot spear right here. Oh, danger close on your fighters, huh? <laughs> so I don't even know how I do it. 8d8. Uh, you do know that your fighters are right next to him within that 20-foot spear. I'm going to throw it, like, right here. Oh, so it's <laughs> on the other side of them? Okay. Yeah. It's it's, it's hitting him, but it's not hitting y'all. I'm trying to figure out how I'd roll an 8d8. Well, does he, um, if he, if he, 
makes a dexterity saving throw. Uh, if he passes it, he takes half damage. If not, he takes uh, uh, full damage. Okay, so... What, uh, what I would like you to do is roll a dexterity check. Gimbal? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gimbal's going to roll a dexterity Gimble. check. Oh, did I not pull up? I just clicked it. Did I not do it? Nope. There, there it is. Okay. No problem oh. there. Okay. And uh, the, the hill giant has to save against what? He has to do a uh, dexterity saving throw. Okay. If you pass this, okay, get so uh, you uh, successfully threw the uh, fireball pendant exactly where you wanted it to go, and uh, it exploded behind the giant, and uh, it actually engulfed him in uh, big white hot flames for a moment, and uh, he's... Come on, you. He's now uh, smoking with uh, bits of burnt hair hanging off of him. Uh, his uh, leather garments are smoldering and half burnt, and you know he's a little disoriented. But he's still alive. He is still alive. All right. That is my moment here. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let's uh, see right there. All right. And Francis. Yeah, and he's in the mouth of the caves? Uh, he's standing about uh, two or three feet, no more than five feet, uh, outside of the cave. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I guess. Nothing else I can do. And you lost yeah. another arrow. <laughs> it's like the most disappointing thing ever. Yeah, spend all that time deciding. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're just like, yeah. damn it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm in a good spot. Actually, I just move up into these rocks as cover and duck down. All right. Uh, Grangle. All right. Well, uh, gonna be the old battle axe here, I reckon. That'll do good. Bring your battle axe, and uh, you. Give him another deep cut in his other leg, so now he's a little upset because he's got cuts in both both upper legs. And with that, I'm going to drop back here with Francis. Now the uh, the giant, seeing as how uh, if Fuego is the nearest target. Oh, okay. So he swings his great club twice. And uh, he misses the first time, but the second time he uh, he makes contact and uh, essentially he hits a fuego 
and launches him in the air over the ranger, and he lands on his back. How far is that? 20 feet away? Yeah, and he's, uh, he's really messed up. He's really hurting. Shoot. And it's Lemmy's turn. Um, I'd like to nice point out to my companions if do I want to speak again? <laughs> I'm going to speak to my companions very quickly if I can that uh, these giants respect things that are bigger than them so if anyone has the ability to transform into something that's bigger than them that would be something that would be helpful. I'd say just F them up. <laughs> Okay, so, so that, that's fine. So now, 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 do something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, retreat back here. Can I move through people? Yeah, they'll let you through. Okay. As long as I, I clear line of sight at the this guy, and then I'll shoot my bow at him. All right, you hit him in the shoulder. Okay, I get a D A and a D six. <laughs> So 11 plus 3? Plus 3, yep, 14. Yeah, so not only does he get scratched by some thorns, he's got two deep cuts in his legs, and now he's got an arrow stuck in his shoulder. He's not a happy giant. <laughs> I bet not. <laughs> That's uh, all I can do. All right. If Fuego... Gets up. Really? <laughs> and runs the other way. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, if Lego gets up and uh, he decides, you know, this aggression will not stand. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I feel like a Fuego is just Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> Drax is just as strong on the inside as he is on the outside. <laughs> Hold on, let me put him in the right spot. Shit. <laughs> that that kind of fucks me up for what I was gonna do, but okay. He uh. He hits the giant right in the knee, and the giant kind of stumbles and uh, falls to one knee. He's holding his injured knee, and he's bellowing in pain. I, I yell at uh, – he moved 25 feet to do that. I yell at him to move back as far as he can move back. So, yeah, he's uh, he's at least 15 feet away from uh, from the giant. So, Carquin? All right. I'm going to go to here and cast Cure Wounds. On a Fuego. Yeah. Just I mean, making sure it wasn't a, a giant. He just took a solid hit. I'm turning it to a Fuego. I'm not turning it to the giant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so <laughs> sorry, Mr. Giant, that my friends have been beating the shit out of you. Just try to be sure, you know. I don't want to have, you know, make any mistakes here. Regain, he gain, regains 13 hit points. Very good. And yes, I just purchased second level spell for this. 
Okay. All right, Gimbal. Uh, I'm just going to come right here. That's 10 feet. And then I am going to firebolt. Hey, and that's a 1d10. Oh my gosh, I might keep getting threes. You singe. And I just hit him right in the belly button with some fire. There's not a little campfire there, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just move back, you know, nice and comfortable over here. Just watching the show. Fair enough. All right, Francis. Oh, what? I don't have advantage. Okay, yep, short bow. Boom. Seven piercing. Let's go. If it hits at a 16. Yeah, so uh, he's got an arrow in his uh, other shoulder now. Cuts in his legs, his busted knee. Didn't have to be this way, Giant. It didn't have to be this way. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to do? Uh, no. It don't matter. All right. <laughs> Wrangle. Going to move up 10 feet and uh, hit him with my breath weapon. Off a of dexterity. He's visibly, uh, he's visibly weakened by that attack. And now I have a bonus action that. Hold on a second. Uh, you'll have to tell me if this will qualify or not spell called ensnaring strike says I'll communicate it to you here when you hit a creature with a weapon attack I don't think my breath weapon is a weapon uh, I can uh, make that, let's see a writhing mass of thorny vines appears at the point of impact and the target must succeed on a strict save larger larger creatures have advantage on the saving throw but why not? I can cast it, and if it's uh, if he's restrained, then he takes another D6 piercing at the start of each turn. Okay. Strength saving throw. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I have no problem with uh, with you doing this. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, So a writhing mass of thorny vines appears at the point of impact. And uh, so, yeah, go ahead and uh, roll a d6. Oh, another point of damage. Yeah. That's crazy. I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see anything. Oh, there it is. Oh, there, there, it is. is. there it is. Wow, that took forever. Like, oh, <laughs> For real. <laughs> hey, we've already figured out that, th that thorny plants only scratch you. <laughs> yes, I, I didn't roll advantage for it, but I'm not going to hold that against you because I messed up. So, you know, he what failed to say. What it took to kill him. <laughs> but, uh. Somebody's about to get effed up. So he, he is, uh. Yeah, so he's restrained. Someone okay. just shit themselves. So we're gonna skip him and go straight to Lemmy. All right, Lemmy. I've restrained right, him. All right, now my dumbass. Something with it. <laughs> and uh, you can go ahead and if you're gonna roll an attack, go ahead and roll with advantage. Okay. I just realized I had this. Is that against every opponent? 
I feel real stupid if I could have been doing 1d8 extra damage every time. It looks like it's every turn. And the longbow and the short sword are both uh, weapon attacks, right? So. Correct. Okay. Yeah, just remember that that only uh, applies if it's already taken damage, because it's got to be below its, it's maximum. maximum. Okay. I see. He's definitely taking damage, so. He's... Yeah, he's taking damage, so. All right, I'm going to roll my longbow from here. Oh, yes. Let's go. So I get... Deuce, deuce, baby. Yep. D8. Oh. And then... Yes. Another D8. And then the Hunter's Mark D6. Yeah. Oh, no. And that's what I'm talking about. Plus three. Oh, yes. That's plus 19. Wait, did you get... You got a crit, right? No. No. I... He, he rolled. Know, a, I don't he know. rolled a fifteen plus plus seven. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Nevertheless, the arrow pierces his eye, and the creature falls forward on, right on his face. Uh, lets out a hideous death rattle and lies still. Oh, Lemmy, Lemmy with the kill shot. Bravo. I go over and I stick my leg on its head. <laughs> and I say, the eyes of the ranger are upon you. Oh, <laughs> and, then you tea, and then you teabag him. <laughs> and, and, and I crouch and, crouch and get up, crouch and get up <laughs> over his corpse. I feel like there's probably more in that cave and we should not go this way. <laughs> Does the hill giant the, have anything uh, on him besides a giant club? What's the game plan? Says says Gimble from fifty feet away. <laughs> 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 He's down, right? <laughs> We're good. Okay, so I have advantage on intelligence checks. Could I recall anything about what could be in this cave, or how these giants live, or anything? Well, uh, I think what you surmise uh, from everything that you've learned so far in this adventure and what you know from, uh, from Giants, uh, that the most likely scenario is either the Giant was uh, employed as a guardian of this entrance or this cave, or it just simply found it uh, a convenient place to, to live. Okay. So we're all pretty beat up and low on spells, I imagine, at this point. I'm good to go. I lost five hit points, I mean seven hit points, but I, I've got five hit points of lay on hands I can lay on myself and well, Gimble, fill myself you back up. burnt through a few spells. I've only used one so far. The rest were all cantrips and then a necklace. Oh. I've only used mage armor. All right. Wait, you... Those were scrolls. Those were fire bolts that you used. No, I used fire bolt. And then the used... one that was really high power was the necklace thing that I got. So I only got two more left after those. Just remember, fire balls are a twenty foot radius. Yeah, we established that early on. <laughs> oh, and uh, hey, uh, DM, keep in mind I'm wearing a helmet that makes me appear to be, I think, thirty feet from where I actually am. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well. We got to try and remember that. If, if y'all want to take a short rest, we can. <gasps> or a long rest. Well, a short rest would give me back my, uh... You don't need spells, yeah. A short rest would let us all get our hit points back. Yeah. How long is that a short rest? I have to lay, lay on hands and... Someone just smoked their bong. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just took a hit. <laughs> so he said, let the shenanigans begin. <laughs> oh, 
Wait, did the hill giant have anything on him? He did not have anything not on his. Was. He didn't have anything on his on his person. What if we okay. go over here and take a short rest? I want to cut him oh, open, uh, see what he's been eating. And that will Hang on, just all of our hit points. Just a second here. All right, so That's if you uh, on, uh, if you go to the bottom right of the map. Uh, <laughs> There, uh, <laughs> Lemmy, why does your, uh, wait a minute. That's not, <laughs> oh, wait a minute. No, nothing to do with me. Where'd he come from? Oh, okay. I don't know how he got there. <laughs> There's a mirage. -y. <laughs> <laughs> Copied and pasted you guys from the other map. Oh, so he was hiding somewhere watching us. <laughs> wait, wait, where did we go? Um, you're right outside the cave now. Okay. Oh, is this little thing right here the cave? So the entrance to the cave is right here. Okay. Okay, so we're going to take a short rest and roll our hit dice, right? How much time would a short rest put me with my mage armor? So we, we, we decided, well, we had talked about how, how long you had left was, what, six hours? Yeah. yeah. So... After the fight and your long rest, okay, uh, then you'll have uh, you'll have like four hours left. All right, well, I'm. Uh, who is everybody else? Pretty. I, I know that uh, Fuego got 13 hit points back from Park One. Yeah, and then uh, he got some points back for from uh, the short rest, so he's good. Yeah, I'm, not gonna, good. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my way on hand Pardon? and. And lay hands on myself and heal myself back up to full strength. There you go, touching yourself again. That'll leave me with one hit point I could give somebody else. <laughs> Until I take a long rest. I'm at full health. I didn't get hit. Yeah, right now. <laughs> Is the fight over? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I did over four. I did over forty damage on that guy. Yeah, thirty nine. Did thirty nine points of damage. And then I got hit for three points after that. Mm. <laughs> I tell you what, that fireball really took him down. If you hadn't used that, you probably wouldn't have made it. That's what I figured. And a fuego. Took 21 points of damage from that hit. Oh, holy cow. If he would have gotten hit with both the clubs, he would have been dead. <laughs> that's, wow. that's why I went over there and healed him. I don't think that much healing makes a difference. No, because uh, both hit both points the, is not a small amount. Both of the clubs were over 20 points of damage each, so there's oh. no way he would have made it. Wow. You know what? If he was still down, uh, well, all right. If we're taking a long rest, I would have given him another heal. Well, he, I guess he's good though. He because we took a short rest and he. Yeah, because uh, he, you brought him almost all the way back up. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go spelunking. All right, so uh, don't be too concerned with the scale of the cave and your uh, icons, your tokens. All right, so uh, you step into the cave, and uh, the first chamber you see is that. Um, unfortunately, it is uh, very narrow, so... You can only comfortably travel in single file. Okay. All right. Who has good file. vision? I have night vision. Uh, or I have dark, I have dark vision. vision as well. Yeah, I'm the only one that can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you need a torch. Oh, yeah. I'll go down to right here and see what I can see. Okay. And uh, as soon as you do that... Fuck. Death awaits those who have ill intent. 
What is that? The fuck is that? Shut up, man, so we can hear it. <laughs> you couldn't hear it? I, I heard no. it fine, except for some dumb nuts talking over it. I didn't hear shit. I mean, I heard something, but it was really low. Play it again. You got. Uh, I can't make it. I can't make it's, uh, it's. It's you. Uh, background nice. music, so. You gotta turn your I can't make it any music. louder. You gotta turn your master music volume up on the cogwheel, guys. Master music volume, okay. Go to the cogwheel. Oh, okay. Mine was down too. Yep. Yeah. Y'all have been missing out on the music and the sound effects. Well, there was one that was really loud. There, did you Everybody hear that? <laughs> so basically, a uh, disembodied voice tells you to beware that if you come into this cave with the intent to kill and plunder, you are entering a world of pain. Okay. I'm not here to plunder and kill. We just want dragon's blood. Yeah. I'm just telling you what the voice said. So what can I see from where I'm at? See if you can talk back. We're not as we're not here to uh, to kill and plunder. We're we're on a quest to save lives. I thought okay. we seized all weapons, and we all agreed not to kill or attack anything. <laughs> Unless attacked. Correct. Unless right. damaged. I say unless damaged. Y'all gonna move up here with me, or am I just by myself here? We're single file in here. Well, I left some room here. I ain't going up first. All right, here I come. <laughs> I'm assuming what I'm hearing is uh, sound effects, sound effects, and wind moving through the cave. And yeah, it's the Water. cave, the, the the cave ambient sounds. I'm taking taking it down here, here. Those are dead ends. Correct. Is this a dead end? You can see, uh, you can see some of the uh, the remnants of uh, the the giants. You know, there's some bones, dry bones in the in the thrown in the corner. Some trash, refuse, rotten animal skins that he used to sleep on. That's nice. about it. Nothing of real value. Okay. What else? What is visible now? Hey, hey Gimbal. <laughs> yeah, my bad. <laughs> I have a feeling that they're going to already assume we're here with ill intent since we killed the giant. Well, the giant attacked us first. All we did was stand in front of a cave. This is true. All right, uh, I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use something here. I'm gonna use uh, my divine sense and see if I if I can sense evil. What's the distance on that? Sixty feet. Yeah, you get uh, no no sense of anything. No sense of anything. All right. So I'm guessing this is a fork in the cave right here. It appears to be. See anything now? Oh, it's just a big circle. Is that what I'm saying? Uh. 
Oh, oh, so there's a got, little. We got a fork and another fork in the road here. Yep. Yeah. I pick up. Do the I board. see anything down this way? Did you see anything yeah, down that way? That's a dead end. Okay. Hey, there's a path over here. What I'm at is a dead end. Yeah. That sounded like heavy footsteps. Alright. Which way, guys? What do you think, Harkwin? Uh, I said we have a Fuego charge. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see what I can see right here. Does he volunteer? <laughs> uh, okay. Is that what a big circle? Here? Is that a big circle? Is that what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, do I see anything this way? All right. Uh, so uh, obviously, if we can only walk single file, uh, let me. Wait, you're so gonna have to. You're gonna have to move down a little bit to see if you see anything. What's uh, what's the distance on your your uh, night visions, your dark visions? Sixty feet. Sixty. Okay. Do gnomes have dark vision? I don't think we do. Yeah, you do. Oh, we do. Okay, cool. You should. You. You might not have as good, but. Yes, I have. I have my hand on uh, the shoulder of uh, Gimbal. Works for me. Until we get to wherever we're gonna go, and then we gotta light it. You torch. guys hang hang right there where you're at. Me and the me and the. Uh, uh, Ranger are gonna explore this this uh, path right here. All right, this is going quite a ways. All right, so I got a path going up north. You got a path going west. Which way do you want to go? Uh, well, Ranger. seeing as how it's uh, ten o'clock, if you guys want to stop right here and pick it up, sweet, that's fine. But, uh, yeah. you know, whatever you want to do. Yeah, I'd say we call it. Hey, don't you guys got some magic box? Yeah, we haven't we haven't checked the magic box. Yeah, you want to... It's, it's three uses per day, so who wants to who wants to check Let's let the magic Gimble box? do it. Do it. Uh, he hadn't had a chance to do it. All right, Gimble. Give us a shot. Remember, like... hey, you need something first. Ma I, I need box. I need something. Guys, I have no clue what magic box y'all are talking about. <laughs> so, present to you a magic oh. box. That's the words you got to say to use it. Yeah, you, you, uh, we I found a magic box in the tower. I feel like this is a horrible setup. No, uh, it's not. It's, Gimble, you're the one who told us how to use it. <laughs> We've all <laughs> used the magic box. <laughs> I don't, how you just do have I to say, box, box, I need something. And then roll a d20. Box, I need something. And, and roll, roll a d20. A... Roll a d20, yeah. Oh, so the d20? Roll a percentage. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Percentage, sorry. Roll, roll a percentage. Is that 100? D100? Yes. 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 Did All you right, get it? So, you uh, reach into the box and uh, you pull out a ball of twine. I, it's just twine. basic. It, it's basic hemp twine. It's a it's a ball about the size of uh, of a softball, and there's a small tag on it that says 300 feet. We could use that to map <laughs> ourselves in the cavern. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. String the way we go. Yeah. All right. Who else I feel wants like to go? Like 300 feet will come up quick though. I'll 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 go. All right. Bo box. I need something. Whoa. 18. We've had 18 before. 18. I think. Eighteen percent. Okay. So, uh, you pull out a small uh, or a long uh, 
tubular item. <laughs> uh, it's a. Uh, it has a small tag on it that says uh, "Snake Charmer Flute." Nice. Well, alrighty then. Five times. Snakes only. Okay. I'll pack that away in the old backpack for use later. Alright. Shall I give it a go? Sure, go ahead. Box, I need something. Alright, so uh, you pull out a small vial of a amber-colored liquid. Maybe about two ounces worth. Do I know what this is? <laughs> uh, you don't know what it is just by looking at it. Uh, is there a skill check to find out what, what it is? Sure. <laughs> oh, I thought he was hinting that you got to try it. I guess it wasn't very good. It made him scream <laughs> like a woman. What's, what check would it be? Perception or intelligence? Whichever one you, uh, whichever one has the highest bonus for you. So, you know, you want to do perception, you want to do investigation. That, there you go, that'll work. Uh, it's a, a bottle of perfume. Oh, well, that's nice. Oh, you maybe you could try to stop or off the dragon. And it. it would have known that. I'll store that for later. Actually, you need to use that now. We've been out here and haven't had a bath. In <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you go. And the box becomes a mundane box once again. Back in the backpack it goes. 